Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, and today I am getting back to some arcade machine work. I haven't done anything with arcade machines in a while on the channel, but if you go back quite a while, if you've been following the channel, or even if you're new here, go check it out. I have a complete Simpsons restoration. Now, recently I was at the Midwest Gaming Classic, and I took my Simpsons cab there to be like on the arcade floor in the free play area. Unfortunately, on my way back, and this wasn't any fault of the con or anything like that, on my way back, once I got it unloaded out of uh, my trailer, back into my house, I messed up one of the corners on the control panel. And the control panel piece was one of the worst condition pieces still remaining on the arcade machine. So it was something that I kind of wanted to get repaired or replaced anyways, but now that I broke a big chunk off of it, which I will show you here in a moment, uh, I figured it was time to redo the control panel on the Simpsons arcade machine. So here's the control panel right here. So looked great and everything, but the team molding was starting to get a little bit messed up. And I'll show you right here. You can see this entire chunk is what broke out and that's no good. And then you can even see here, I didn't even do the team molding right when I first did it. This was my first, bigger restoration and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But if we look on the back right here, you can see it's got, well, maybe you can see, it's got extra little holes where different things were. It's got Bondo work on it. It's got wood filler. It's got more pieces that are ready to pop out. And frankly, that's just no good. So what I went ahead and did was I bought a new laser cut control panel. I got new vinyl, I got new T molding. So today what we're gonna do is get everything on this control panel transferred onto the new one. But the very first step is taking the raw control panel and putting the new vinyl on it. So let me show you what the new control panel actually looks like. We have this right here. If you have never seen a control panel before, well, there you go, that's what it looks like. You got all the uh, cutouts and everything. And then on the back, it has even been CNC'd out. Uh, that way everything will sit nicely in it. And we're gonna transfer everything onto this one with the first step being this guy right here. We have the new vinyl for it. And this is from the same company that I got all the vinyl for on the machine. So it is thoroughly color matched, looks great. And we're gonna get all of this installed today. So there will be a bunch of sped up footage through the boring parts, but come along for the journey as we transfer everything to a brand new control panel for the Simpsons Arcade. So as you can see, we have it all laid out and you can see right there, now it is stuck onto the control panel. So the next step is to cut out all of the holes and then trim the excess around the tops of the panel. So let's go ahead and dive in and get that done. All right, and there we go. All of the uh, joystick and buttonholes have all been cut. Now it's time to take all of the hardware off of the old control panel and put it onto this new one. And then the last step, we'll be adding all of the yellow T molding to go around the edges of this. So let's get to it. Okay, so I went ahead and transferred all of the controls off camera because 
that took a while and I didn't want you to have to sit through that. But as you can see, everything has been all moved over. Everything is good to go. We have all of the controls on the back here. The only things left are installing the T molding and then I am going to go ahead and put in a couple little hooks to help this latch down later on. But as you can see, all controls are right there. And if we flip it over, there's the actual part that you'll see when you're playing the arcade. So let's go ahead and move on to the T molding now. All right, so here I have a very um, unwieldy roll of T molding. And what we're going to do is start on one corner of it, work our way all the way around to the other side and then cut off the excess and then I'll have some extra for later on. So I'm gonna do my best to get this in the top down cam and we'll go from there. So here we go. So luckily this pre-cut thing already has some uh, nice little edges in here. I'll go ahead and overshoot it a bit and then it's time to just kind of start sticking it in as it goes. And what I'm gonna do is kind of repeat this process all the way around and I will show you all the end product. And there you have it. You got T molding all done. So this is the new redone, looks better, doesn't have chunks of wood missing from it control panel, which replaced this one right here. As you can see, you know, it actually had some wear and stuff on it. It was getting super messed up with the vinyl. And then of course it was missing chunks, but uh, yeah. That is how you replace everything on a control panel or at least transfer it to a new one. Now you can find all kinds of different things to make out of uh, or make control panels out of, but overall, I mean, the easiest is probably just buy one that has already been seen seed for you. This is not the highest quality one. It's not as high as quality as that original one there, but for home use, it's more than like I need. It's perfectly fine. And you might want to use like heavier duty wood, something like that. This is just straight up particle board. This is nothing crazy uh, or just like straight up MDF, um, but it gets the job done. And now I don't have a control panel that is missing chunks in the corners, which is awesome. Now, if you like this video and you want to check out the full restoration that I did, then go ahead and check out the area that is right here because I will have a link to that video in there. I get lots of comments complaining about the music. It was done years ago and my skills hopefully have gotten better in video creation now, but apologies in advance if you don't like the music that's going on in it. I didn't know any better then, I do now. Uh, and maybe I'll re-release that video. Let me know in the comments if you'd want me to do that. But this is how you make a control panel. And as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Game Dad and I'll catch y'all later.